didn't know you were going to play it until next week. Yeah, we needed this one to, I mean, if we, if we didn't win this one, I guess te technically we would have won the division, but it wouldn't have felt like it. So it's good to get this one. Uh, we're going to have to play better next week to get the win, uh, especially me. So it's great to get the win, but you know, on to the next one. What was this feel like in there? As you celebrated, what, what was that feeling like to celebrate something? It's always nice to celebrate with the guys that you work so hard with and to achieve something together. You know, it's a, it's a special feeling that I don't think a lot of people get to experience. And so it's always, I always cherish those moments. Is it any different maybe given how the week went for you guys from Monday to now? I mean, what was that like? Yeah, it was a long week. It was a long week. I think, you know, guys started feeling better at the end of the week when we started getting some good updates. Uh, but you know, the beginning of the week it was it was tough. You just referenced your play. What, you didn't like the way you played today. Did not like the way I played today. You know, I miss throws I usually make, but I won't miss those again. Joe, given the given the way this week went, just the emotion of it, and in particular how Demar is doing now, he's able to watch the Bills game from his room. It's what awesome. Does it like to end this week with this win? Well, you know, it's I think just collectively as as the NFL and as the players, you, know, you you love to hear those kind of updates. He's able to watch the game. He's able to, you know, experience that. And you know, it was it was a tough week for everybody, even tougher for for him and his family. So the fact that he's doing better is what matters to me. This franchise has never won back to back AFC North titles. You guys have gone back to back in the division long before either of us were born. But well, what does that mean to hear that that won back to back AFC North titles? That's the that's our standard now. So. We're going to celebrate it every single time we do it. We're going to smoke our cigars, and we're going to wear our T-shirts and hats. Uh, but we expect that every year. Uh, Ted Karras just told us that he gets a lot of credit for the improvements on the offensive line, but Alex Kappa is really the driving force of the offensive line. I know there's still a lot to be determined regarding his status moving forward, but can you just talk about what he's meant to you, and is he the best guard that you've played with so far in your professional career? Yeah, he's, he's really been playing unbelievable all year. You know, Cap is one, a guy you love to be around, great locker room guy. Two, unbelievable player, smart, physical, tough, everything you could ask for in, a, in an interior guy. And you know, I don't don't know the severity of the injury, but you know, I have a lot of confidence in the guys behind him. Max has played a lot of football, and you know, he knows his stuff. So uh, he's gonna have to step up. But we got all the faith in the world in him. Any thoughts on Mixon's? Uh, any, any thoughts on Mixon's celebration? I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Now, well, what, what was your whole thing about the coin? You know, your, your take on the coin thing. Did you think that was odd or what did you get that shit off? Or? Uh, it is what it is. It doesn't matter now. Uh, would, would love to get that that same opportunity for, for us in the second round if we happen to get there, but that's not what they decided. So uh, it is what it is. What's the challenge in playing a team back to back weeks and trying to beat a team twice? Yeah, it's, it's tough because. One, they're in our division, so we play them all the time. They know, they know our scheme, they know our guys, they know what we're trying to do, um, and they make it tough on us. And so they're going to be able to, you know, run some stuff off of a lot of the defenses they ran today, and they're going to be able to do the same. So it's it's going to be a tough challenge for for us, but them as well. You went over here with high expectations. How do you feel about where the team's at heading into the postseason? Love where we're at, and we're. I mean, how how many games have we won in a row? Seven, eight, eight. eight so. No, I think that's the longest win streak right now. And going into the playoffs with, with a lot of momentum, happy with where we're at, still a lot of room to improve. Well, Joey, Jamar clipped 1,000 yards today. I asked about it. He said it was special, especially with how much time he missed. Just how impressive was it to see him do that today? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, what's, <laughs> that's what I expect from him. You know, he's, he's going to have 1,000 yards every year that he plays and, and doesn't miss a ton of time. That's how good he is. Joe, how much your mind with the NFL playoff team? This week, and what was your initial reaction? Whatever we got to do, we'll play wherever, whenever, we'll make it happen. How big of a deal, Joe, is it that this team continues to find different ways to win, even when the offense isn't clicking today? The defense forced three big turnovers. Yeah. Drew Christman had a big day, situationally punting, setting up a touchdown. Yep. What does that mean to you? I mean, that's the sign of a great football team. We got coaches that really understand what we're trying to do, the game plan really, really hard. You know, I know the kind of time that they put in, so it gives me a lot of confidence to go out there and, and execute the plan the way it's supposed to be executed. And you know, when our all year, 
really our, our defense steps up when, when we're not stepping up, and then we step up when they're not. And, you know, Drew has been, you know, Drew punted the shit out of the ball today. So that was fun to see. <laughs> you said you didn't like the way you played. Did you feel out of sync? Or, I mean, what was, was it something they were doing? Or did you feel that they, in pregame, or did they keep them kind of hit? Just missed, just missed some throws I usually hit. I, I not usually, always hit. And so I'll, I, I got to be better. Emotionally, did, what did you feel like? This live up to kind of what you might expect it would be given the week you had emotionally for you? Yeah, it was uh, definitely a weird feeling going out there initially, and then I think we settled into the game and you know kind of put that behind us. But uh, pregame was definitely a little weird. Some guys in the locker room talking about like, us against the world mentality. Do you feel like that's a good fit for the team right now? Yeah, I think with all the stuff that happened this week, with with all the changes and everything, that's that's what it is. When it seems to fit this team, though, it seems to fit this team. Maybe two years. And it's expected. It's expected now, and we got the guys that that can do it, and you know we we like the hard path. A lot of people talk about the way it goes in the NFL for teams. Like, oh, this is this year or short for teams. Do you ever think about that with your current team? That you know you never know what can happen in the future in terms of who's going to be here next year. That thought ever crossed your mind about a window maybe? Windows my whole career, and and everybody that that we have in that locker room, all the coaches we have, you know, things are going to change year to year, but uh, our window's always open. This team likes the hard path. Why? Would you would you have it any other way? You don't want it easy. It's not as satisfying. See, I mean, your path was the hard way. I mean, you've done it. It's always been the hard way for for me and for a lot of guys in there. Uh, it's just the way it is, and. There's, there's no easy path to the NFL and into the playoffs and to the Super Bowl. And so the, the harder it is, the better it'll feel. Well, I just want to go back because that's a pretty big statement. You know, what gives you the confidence that says that, you know, you feel like every time you're going to be playing, like you got, you're going to be in it for a championship. What gives you the confidence to be able to say that now? Well, I, I, know, the, I know the guys we have in the locker room. I, like I said, it's going to change year to year, but... You know, I, I'd like to think that a lot of guys in there will be around for for a long time, and we've we've won a lot of football, played a lot of football together, and uh, we got great players in there. What's been the, the most unique thing about this year's team as to why you've been successful, and then maybe why you guys can't go back and finish what you guys didn't get last year? Well, we've faced a lot of adversity, and you know, guys going down, guys stepping up, guys that maybe hadn't played a lot of football in the past have have now played a lot of football and gotten some opportunities and made the most out of them, and so you know, we have guys that have been in these moments, had this experience, and and know what it's going to take in these next three or four weeks. So going back to the coin toss celebration from Joe Mixon, Jesse Bates said that you guys watched a movie yesterday, and that's where the idea came from, but Mixon said the next movie was 300. Do you remember what the movie, the movie was? Gladiator. Gladiator. Great movie, by the way. <laughs> I think after that, a lot of guys went and watched it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you had a shot to possibly get the two seed today. Were you aware at all of what was going on in Buffalo? No, I've, I was not. Uh, I just kind of assumed they were going to win. Do you think it might, you know, I think you guys are up 17 number, and I think Brandon was warming up. Were you thinking it might be a short day? Did you want a short day? Did you against, this, this, against those guys, you know, the. These AFC North games are are never going to go like that. Team, It's going to be too close at the end. It's too hard, too tough. That's the way these games are. Joe, your dancing and escapability is taking to another level. What, what's the key to that? That was cool one today. You've been amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see the – I saw the, the highlight after. That was, I was proud of myself on that one. Got caught, though. So that was – I don't know how many yards I got, six or seven. Would like to get more, but it is what it is. Joe, what are you most proud of, you know, the, the 0-2 start – this season, the 0-3 starting division. What you guys overcame this year? What are you most proud of about what you've accomplished to this point? You know, we won the division. You know, we've won a lot of games, 12 and 12 and 4. So, you know, we're we're right where we want to be. You know, obviously, you would have liked the the beginning of the year to to go a little different. But if that, you know, you never know how it's going to shake out if things happen differently in life. And so, we, we like where we're at. Excited about about the playoffs. Going to have to play a lot better to to win those games, but. We know we have what it takes. 12 and 2 since you said relax. <laughs> yeah, well, I told you guys to relax, and we relaxed. <laughs>
kind of following up with that one last question, have you seen any major change from that Monday night in Cleveland and where you are now? Any one big change or has it just been a bunch of little things? No, just just playing better, executing better, playing playing team football better. Uh, we're just a much better team than then. Thanks, guys. Thanks.